Welcome back, children. So next, next model auxiliary that is main. Next model. So now we will discuss here that how to use may in the sentence plus in what situations we can use this model auxiliary in a sentence. So here we all are familiar with the use of may. So in short, I will tell you that may this model auxiliary is used. May is used for what? Asking permission plus giving permissions. In short, I wrote here. Not full word I, I have not written. So you understand. It is used for asking and giving permission plus possibility to show the possibility plus uncertainty then wish purpose and supposition. For, uh, for all these possibilities, expressions, moods, we use this model auxiliary may in the sentence. So now here, for example, for the different asking and giving permission, in the, with the help of uh, more examples we will discuss, may I leave question mark, may I leave now, what is this? We are asking permission, asking and giving permission, we are asking permission, may I leave now? So you cannot say that yes you may, generally we are using yes you can in response to yes you can or no, you can't. So it means in response to this question generally we do not say may I leave whenever we are saying. May I uh, go a little early today? When permission is asked, we do not say generally that uh, yes, uh, you may. What we say, yes, you can. In response to it means for asking permission that we can use may, I leave. And it doesn't mean that instead of may, you can, if you are using can, can I leave? If you are asking permission, can I leave? But here, one more thing. May, it is a formal way, as I told you. It is a formal way to ask for the permission. So, it is better that at your workplace, at your school, colleges, that you use, instead of can, use may for asking anything. Because generally we know that can shows the capability. Generally. So, instead of can, for asking permission, as a formal way, at the formal place, use may. May I go? May I leave? So, formal permission. So, next one. May I borrow your pen? So, one more thing. When we are using may in the sentence, after may, use the first form of the main verb. May I borrow your pen? Borrow is the main verb. May I borrow your pen? Next, may I ask you a question? Permission is asked. <coughs> may I ask you a question? Ask. It means after may, first form, present form of the main verb, present participle. So, may I ask you a question? So, it's a polite way and the formal way to ask question. And formal permission generally instead of can, we have to use may. Am I clear? In school or the colleges, whenever we are asking, suppose for example, if you are late in, uh, for the class, that time you can say, can I come in sir? We can't say, but generally we should say, instead of can may, may I come in now? May I come in sir? For this. Next coming, that he may come to stay with us. What it shows? Can you guess? So, it shows possibility. He may, we don't know, it shows only yes or few chances. So, he may, may and plus first form of the neighbor, present participle. So, he may come uh, to stay with us. It shows the possibility. One more example. I may not have the time to meet you. What is the negative? Uh, it means here, the negative form is given, may not. I may not have the time to meet today. May plus have negation 
not have the time to meet you. Possibility. Next, it may rain today. Once again, it is possibility is given. But here, if we compare may and might, may shows the strong possibility. Then might. If we use it might rain today. And uh, one more sentence, it may rain today. May whenever we are using it shows a strong possibility. But uh, in case of might, less possibility. So this is what? It may rain today. Next, uh, the postman may not come this way now. Uncertainty is given here that the postman may not come this way. Uncertainty. Next, uh, may you live longer. What it shows? Wish. May the girl. God bless you, may God bless you or may you live longer so it shows the wish explicit so that's why for all these reasons or in cases that we could use this model of scenery may generally at we are the school children so asking permission etc instead of can we can use may here it is a more polite way to ask for uh, permission so in this way here that we have discussed this model of slurry in short may. In the next model we will discuss about might. So that's all from me. Thank you and have a good day.